is shortcut free? So this is a question that has a surprising answer. And it's one that I never thought I'd have to make a video about, but today we're going to get into that. So to begin with, Shotcut is a video editor. And on my channel, I have many videos with thousands of views that actually show people how to use this video editor. And let's go ahead and start with the first and biggest question, is Shotcut free? Well, the simple answer is yes. If you go to the website, shotcut.org, this is the official website. On the very front of the page, it says Shotcut is a free, open source, cross-platform video editor. And I've used this video editor for years now, but the first time I used it was quite a while ago. And Shotcut was originally conceived back in November of 2004. So it has been around for a while. So Charlie Yakes is the one who conceived it. And he's also the MLT co-founder as well. And so this is where I go to download Shotcut. And this is about the only thing that I was familiar with. And if you actually go to the download page, it shows you what platforms it supports. It supports Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Those are the main platforms that it supports. And this is made for desktops and laptops. And if you actually go to the facts, there is some more information. Shotcut is free for commercial use. They don't necessarily collect any data unless it's on a store like the Microsoft store that collects its own data. And if you actually download this software, they say that all of their downloads, they're free of malware, spyware, or adware. So basically, there's no ads, and they don't bundle it with any other types of browser toolbars or download managers. And they can only guarantee this if you download it from this official website, shotcut.org. So that is the first thing, and that's the thing that really confused me because whenever I started doing tutorials for Shotcut, that was the last thing that I was thinking of. But over time, over many years, people actually started asking questions. Is Shotcut free? How come there are ads? There's watermarks. And I was thinking to myself, what Shotcut are they using? And that's where we get to the surprising part of this video. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so this is where things really get surprising. And this is the one that I was not expecting. So if you actually go to the Google Play Store and you type in Shotcut, you realize that there is also another software called Shotcut Video Editor Pro. And if you actually click on it, there's like over 5 million plus views. It has a really high rating of 4.7 out of 92,000 reviews. And if you actually look at it, it looks really different from the Shotcut that I know of. And at least for me, I've never heard of Shotcut being available on mobile because as I showed you a little bit earlier, Shotcut is only available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. It's not available for mobile. And so this version here is not the official version of Shotcut. And this one also has ads and in-app purchases. So this is where I think a lot of people who left these comments, they're referring to this software. And since it is on an app store, as anybody who's used any of these app stores, there's like more than a million plus apps. And there's a lot of software out there that might not be the official version. And as far as I know, this is not the official version of Shotcut. So if you wanted to use the same Shotcut that I know of and the one that I make videos on, you want to use it from Shotcut.org. And as Shotcut did state here, their software has no ads, no malware, no spyware, no adware, no other type of software bundled with their software unless you happen to download this in other unauthorized websites or maybe you download an app like this which has the same name but which isn't the software. And so that is my quick video on this. Shotcut is free as long as you go to shotcut.org and download the official version of Shotcut. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my official Shotcut tutorial tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below and we'll see you on another video.